Thank God the school brought in all these counselors. My kid's freaked out. Probably worse than anyone. He can't even watch the news anymore. Well, my Linda won't eat. And she made me walk her to school today. That's nothing. My son's having nightmares. He went to bed, and he's so dyslexic that when the shooting started, he'd run toward the exit because he thought I said taxi. <laughs> Mr. Lopez, can I have a word with you? Well, I guess it's worse than I thought. <clears throat> So, I've been uh, talking with Max, and he seems to be coping well with the shooting. Man, one session and he's fixed. If I throw in 50 bucks, can you find out why he won't let his green beans touch his mashed potatoes? Because <laughs> there's something going on there. You know, Max wet his bed because he had a nightmare that he was chased by a killer through the house, and he couldn't find you. Why didn't you just fly away? <laughs> It's a dream, Max. You can do whatever you want. Work within your own mind. <laughs> Last night, I had a dream I was in the desert. I turned a cactus into Selma Hayek. <laughs> Hurt like hell, but totally worth it. I'll tell you about it later. What I'm trying to say is that Max's problem is not with the uh, school shooting. His problem is with you. Me? What did I do? <laughs> He's defensive. Did I call it or what, huh? What are you talking about? Isn't there something you want to tell your dad? I don't like it when you stay at Ernie's. I want you to come home. Max, I am home. Are you going to leave again? No. OK, look, I'm never, ever going to leave again. But Grandma's still living there, and you guys are always fighting. Oh. Max, can you do me a favor and wait outside for a minute? I want to talk to your father. I'll be right out, Red. <laughs> so, what Max has uh, seemed to say is that you've had some issues with uh, your mother? That's where you guys always go, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's a natural starting point. I mean, you know, my own mother was controlling and, and heartless, but we finally had a breakthrough. She died. Look, doctor, even if I did want to talk about it and my mom was driving me crazy, I'm Chicano, we don't believe in therapy. You were treated poorly as a child, weren't you? Yeah, so what? Look, I know what you're doing, doctor, and it's not gonna work, okay? You can dig and dig and dig, but you're not gonna find anything. So my father abandoned me, so what? <laughs> Maybe he would have stayed if I had been a good boy. My mom says I was always crying. What is she? Oh, my God, it's my fault. I'm unlovable. Are you getting this down? I don't see writing. Then my mom said that. She said that my chicken pox was God punishing me for not making it to the potty. Lopez. School's over. I have to go. But I'm just getting started. Want to hear what happened to my first dog, Larry? Oh, God, no, 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 no. I'm borderline depressive as it is. I just want to take my medication, put on an eye mask, and lie down. I can wait. No, no. Mr. Lopez. I was hired to deal with a school shooting, okay? Not the demon parade you have running around in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, if you want to see me again, you can meet me in my office. Would I have to pay for that? Yes, it's private practice, 150 an hour. <laughs> okay, well, I don't need any more therapy. <laughs> well, why don't we just stay friends and we can have lunch in your office once a week? I'll bring chicken. <laughs> I don't think so. We could email each other. <laughs> no. I am buddies. <laughs>